Today, we're talking about what might be the most ridiculous name change in F1 history. Yes, you guys guessed it right. Alpha Tauri, a name that had a certain ring to it, has now been rebranded as, wait for this, Visa Cash App RB. It sounds more like a banking app than an F1 team, doesn't it? Today, let's break this down, dissect it, and really get under the hood of this name change. Make sure you stay until the end as we look at the history, the reactions, the impact, and yes, we'll even compare it to other team names. Now, names are such a big deal in F1, or any other sport for that matter, because it's a legacy, it's a brand, it's a statement. When you hear Ferrari, what comes to mind? Speed, passion, a prancing horse, the colour red, a rich history of racing triumphs and tragedies. That is the power of a name. Or take McLaren, that's a name that echoes with the roar of engines, the thrill of speed and a relentless pursuit of innovation. It's a name that carries the weight of a glorious past and a promising future. What about Mercedes? Precision, dominance and a certain cool silver arrowed elegance. It's a name that commands respect on and off the track. These names, they're not just picked out of a hat. They represent the team's identity, their values and their aspirations. Now, interestingly, this isn't the first time Alpha Tauri has rebranded their name. It all started with a team named Minardi in Italy in 1985. They were the underdogs, the fighters. They didn't have the biggest budget or the fastest cars, but they had heart. And we know, in a sport like F1, that counts for a great deal. Who doesn't love a great underdog story? Then came the Toro Rosso era. This was when things started to heat up. In 2006, the team was bought by Red Bull, and suddenly, they had the resources to compete with the big boys. Under this new banner, the team achieved its first victory at the 2008 Italian Grand Prix with a young, certain Sebastian Vettel. It's hard to argue that this was the perfect Toro Rosso moment, a team standing up against giants. And then, in 2020, we had Alpha Tauri, a new name, a new identity, but the same fighting spirit. They even managed to snag a win in 2020, interestingly at the Italian Grand Prix with Pierre Gasly. Now, who in their right mind goes from a cool, exotic name like Alpha Tauri to something that sounds like a rejected name for a banking app? Seriously, Visa Cash App RB. It's like they were trying to win a bet on who could come up with the most ridiculous name. It's hard to even take the team seriously with a name like that. So, who's behind the madness? We don't have all the details, but it's safe to say that someone, somewhere, thought this was a good idea. Maybe they thought it was modern, edgy or innovative, or maybe they lost a bet. Who knows? But okay, let's try and really understand the logic behind this. It's quite clear they wanted to highlight their sponsors. Visa and Cash App, that's fair. Sponsors are a massive part of F1. But seriously, there's a fine line between logos on cars and appreciation and turning your entire team name into a whole billboard. Next, the RB part. Is this a running back for your fantasy team? Like the former Patriots running back Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, a man with so many names they nicknamed him the law firm. Well, no, it's a lot simpler than that. The RB just stands for Red Bull, the team's owner. Yes, Red Bull does have a very well-known history of clever and unique marketing strategies. But this, honestly, it's just plain trash. Allow me to put this into perspective for you. Imagine if Mercedes was suddenly called Credit Card PayPal AMG. It sounds absurd, doesn't it? That's exactly how we feel about Visa Cash App RB. It just doesn't have any ring to it. And the worst part is, it doesn't tell you anything about the team, other than the financial backers. Ferrari, McLaren, Red Bull, all these names tell you a story. They give you a sense of what the team is all about. But Visa Cash App RB, it tells you nothing, apart from they like their online banking. That's it. Now, we're not alone in this. Oh no, the fans are baffled too, scratching their heads, wondering if this is some sort of weird joke. One fan even anticipated the challenge for commentator David Croft, saying, looking forward to Crofty trying to spit out this mouthful every time something happens on the track. The internet is buzzing and the memes, oh, the memes are just gold. From cash cows to Visa Cash App debit card with no hidden fees RB, the fans have been having a field day with this one. 
Apart from the fans, former F1 driver Gado van der Gaard didn't mince his words when he said it simply wasn't an appropriate name for a Formula One team. Even the BBC in the UK, a state broadcaster with strict rules when it comes to advertising and sponsorship, is reportedly having issues with the name. Now, let's put the joke aside for a second and talk about what this means for the team. First off, it can have real tangible effects on the team's brand. Visa Cash App RB doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, does it? It's clunky, cumbersome, and just plain weird. This could potentially alienate fans, especially those that were fond of the Alpha Tauri brand. And in a sport where fan support is crucial, this could be a significant blow. And what about the image? With a name like Visa Cash App RB, they might just end up projecting confusion and ridicule. Not exactly the image you want when you're going wheel to wheel with the likes of Mercedes and Ferrari. Finally, the performance. You might think that a name change wouldn't affect the team's performance. After all, it's the same drivers, the same crew, the same car, right? But the thing is, morale matters. And therefore, if a team isn't proud of their name, if they're constantly the butt of jokes, it could affect their morale. In a sport where milliseconds matter, even a slight dip in morale could make a difference to their results. Well, there you have it, folks. Our deep dive into the whirlwind saga of the Visa Cash App RB name change. It's a story that spun its way through the heart of F1, leaving fans and critics alike in a state of bewildered amusement. Whether you see it as a bold marketing move or a branding blunder, it's undeniably sparked conversations way beyond the racetrack. But let's not forget, at the core of this tale is the spirit of a team that's weathered the storms of change, from Minardi to Alpha Tauri, and now to, well, you know the name. It's a reminder that in the fast-paced world of Formula One, identity is as much about heritage and performance as it is about the name emblazoned above the garage door. We've had our laughs, raised our eyebrows, and you've maybe even shook your head in disbelief. Yet, the true test will be on the track, where speed and strategy outshine even the most controversial of names. Now, what are your thoughts on this unprecedented name change? Is it a stroke of marketing genius or a complete misstep in F1 branding? Could there be a name out there even more outlandish waiting in the Red Bull wings? Share your opinions, your chuckles, and yes, even your best F1 team name suggestions down in the comments. We want to hear them. And remember, the essence of racing is not captured in the name, but in the heart-pounding moments of triumph, the sheer determination of drivers, and the unwavering passion of fans around the world. If you've enjoyed this ride through F1's latest saga, do remember to like, share and subscribe for more content that gets under the hood of the world's premier motorsport. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our latest videos. Until next time, keep your engines revving and your spirits high. This has been F1 Racing Now, your inside track to all things F1. Thanks for watching.